Well, good afternoon. Today is Monday, the 30th of March, uh, 2020. And uh, wow, what a day we had yesterday. Hopefully you were able to tune in or caught up and watched the message from yesterday. Um, had some great comments uh, from people. And um, listen, we had a technical glitch here at my house today with my computer and the camera and all that fun stuff. So sorry that uh, coming on a little later in the afternoon than what we anticipated. Um, also wanted to let you know that um, I've got a special guest today uh, from our house to yours, and that is my lovely wife. Um, for those of you that wonder, yes, we are still together. Uh, you haven't <laughs> seen her for a couple of weeks with all this quarantine stuff, but um, here's living proof. Uh, she's still alive. We haven't killed each other nope. being quarantined. So I'm going to let Deb speak for a minute or two because she wants to say hi and give a bunch of virtual hugs or whatever. And uh, then I've got a, just a quick message for you. Well, I want to first say welcome Crossroads. Good afternoon. I am so glad to be seen by all of you guys. <laughs> now, if this is your first time seeing me, I'm Debbie. I'm the other half of him. But anyway, it is so good to be seen by you today, and I just want to say, bunker down, make sure you're keeping yourself safe, wash those hands, and know that we love you so much, and I just want to give you a big hug, and so hug yourselves from me to you. I love you. Have a great day. Well, she didn't have to leave, but anyway, let me ask you, do, do you feel like... Do you feel like you're in the middle of a storm today? There's There's some great passages in the Bible that talk about calm in the storm and how people react in storms. And I think that's just normal stuff, right? But um, remember the point from the message yesterday that God is near. The presence of God is with you as a follower of Christ in this moment. If you're a follower of Jesus, listen, his spirit dwells within you. He goes before you. Our God is already in tomorrow. He knows what's going on. He's not bound by time. He hears every one of our prayers. He's comforting us in our hurts. Um, his word will comfort. We went through a bunch of Psalms yesterday. I hope you'll read some of those. But you have no idea all the different ways that God is with you in the presence of a storm. Never let the presence of a storm cause you to doubt the presence of God. I want to share with you one passage today. It's from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16 and 17, where the Apostle Paul said, Everybody else deserted me. No one stood by me. Maybe you feel that way right now. But the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength. God, you are my strength. And uh, we've got to hold on to that. I will not be shaken, for he is beside me. It's all about who's beside you, right? And uh, we don't. it doesn't get any better than God. Real peace, remember this, real peace is not found in the absence of a storm. Real peace is found in the presence of Jesus, even when you're in a storm. So it's life is not trouble-free. Jesus promised us it wouldn't be trouble-free. He said, in this life you will have trouble, but take heart because I have overcome the world. And so it doesn't get any better than that. God is near. Hope you will point people to the YouTube channel, our website. Be a hope dealer. Spread the word. Spread the messages that we're sharing because there's a lot of hope found there because it's God's word. And uh, again, sorry for being on late today, but better late than never. Technical issues, we will have trouble. God bless us. We'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday. Take care.